see the reddish color, pinkish color. That's my camera disagreeing with light. I don't know why it does that. It just does. This is just a little progress report on the old snow fort. <laughs> Doesn't look much bigger from here. You can definitely tell it's bigger. But as we walk around, we'll notice it's much wider. Significantly wider. This is my little idea of getting nice vertical walls. Putting boards right here and just dumping all the snow in there. Pack it nice and tight, pull the boards, use them against the results. This was a... Uh, I put this here intending on pulling it back out. You know, covered in snow. I was going to pull it back out and pack you know, the sides with snow to try to get the round shape, kind of like I have there. Um, good luck getting that out. It's not coming. I'm going to have to dig that thing out. That was a very bad idea. I want to try to make a uh, structure that's entirely self-supporting, and this wood's not helping because it's not self-supporting with that wood there. Uh, it's kind of messy inside. Look how thick this wall is. Let's see here. That's a really freaking thick wall. I got lots of carving out to do. Oh boy. Not exactly super roomy. That used to be a window. So I decided to make it bigger. This tire was originally here. But I stacked more snow on that side and made it go out. Uh, another good, mm, I'd say, two foot plus. This one's going to be a nice big window. Uh, I, can't, I don't know if you can see in here. It's, that one's going to be a nice big window. But, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of snow on the other side of that, so that's going to come out. It started out being just a little small, a little. But, you know, I didn't want to do all this labor just for something small. So either go big or go home. In this case, I'm doing both. I'm going big, and I'm making a secondary home. <laughs> I look around this side just to get a good scope of how thick this thing is. That big amount right there is what I added today. And I've got, still got plenty of supply here. Throw it out there. It's all in this little valley here. But, uh, my uncle did come down, scooped it up. Had a big pile somewhere with that one right here. And I just threw all that over there. That's what made me move the, want to move the tire out. But yeah, that's that's the uh, progress on this. I'm going to put more on top too. I want to be able to stand up in this thing, at least in one part of it. That's my goal. I'm using this bench for the same purpose I was using that. I'm going to have to pull it out some and throw a little more in there. That's going to, I mean, the room's probably going to be so big, I'm going to have to have some sort of pillar in the middle of it to help hold it up. It's uh, one of the bigger ones I've ever seen. At least manually made. I'll give you a little look at something else, at just how much snow we've gotten. In a place that's... We originally had the first snow that I used to make this, and then after that we got another good storm afterwards. Here we go. Unaltered snow. Good way to make little bricks. I wish it was this deep to begin with. Yeah. Oh. That's how much snow we got. I got uh, I'd say a foot, but total of two storms is over 18 inches, but it's all kind of melted and compacted down like snow usually does. Uh, hope you've enjoyed, and uh, look forward to a third video showing the completion of this project. Uh, see you around.